gray day, a lot of clouds were around. We had some light rain, not a whole lot, but for Lexington, it was just enough. We'll talk about that coming up in a second. More rain is on the way for tomorrow, but that may be the last we see of it for, for at least a few days. Showers are around in the morning. We'll be in the low 50s. Should be near 60 at lunchtime. Could even be a clap of thunder or two as a cold front comes through. Temperatures don't go up a whole lot more as we head to the latter part of the day. As the rain begins to taper off late, we'll be in the low 60s. So let's talk about how we get there. And with that, it's the Max Track Live Doppler. Most of the rain is in southern Kentucky. We've got a few little light showers up around Berea. A few more over, say, over to Jackson there in Breathitt County. But the bulk has been across the south. There is a flood watch that runs across the southern three-tier counties. I think the greatest threat's going to be close to the Tennessee line. Even that's a, a fairly minimal one. We'll see some decent rain out of this. Across the south, we could get an inch, maybe an inch and a half in some places. To the north, those numbers tail off pretty quickly, where a lot of us are under a half inch of rain as we begin the month of March. But rainfall record by the hair of our chinny chin chin this afternoon. We had one little shower come through between four and five. Just enough, and we'll talk about that. March starts wet tomorrow. That's also the beginning of meteorological spring. And the weekend, how does dry sound? But it has not been a dry February by any stretch. So 2018's February, 10.13 inches of rain. Beat the old record of 10.12 by 1 one-hundredth of an inch. Somebody went and sweat into the rain gauge, I think, just to kind of goose it over the top there. Uh, you see the, how quickly, though, the other rainfall amounts tail up pretty dramatically from those two extreme values. As we've watched rain today, we, it's been mainly to our south, across Middle Tennessee, Alabama, Mississippi. The corridor is certainly running more to our south than the ones we were seeing last week, which inundated the Ohio Valley. Wave of low pressure, and watch this thing strengthen as we go through tonight. You'll see more isobars showing up around as this thing really begins to crank up. Quite a bit of rain with the warm front tomorrow morning. Then that slides off to the north. We get dynamic cooling up there to the north of this system. So some March snow where they're probably tired of up there in Michigan. For us, as this thing dynamically cools, you see the isobar. So that means north winds come pouring in. Those north winds bring the colder temperatures, especially for Friday going into the weekend. Now, it's not going to be dramatically colder for us, but you will certainly notice a difference. And this storm is going to be a big deal player on the national newscast as we go through the rest of this week. So temperatures have been running above normal. That's good. Normal being 50. Tomorrow will be the last day of that. Friday, Saturday, we do cool it off. 56 at the Bluegrass Airport. The important number with that was the five one hundredths inch of rain that got us over the top for the record. Temperatures have not moved at all this evening. We sit in the mid 50s and tomorrow the statewide tornado drill will take place 1007 in the morning with that Think about what you would do in the event of severe weather. If your county comes under a tornado warning, do you know where to go? If you don't, think about it tomorrow when the weather is calm so that if the worst does happen, you're prepared and ready. Cloudy areas of rain tonight will drop down to the low 50s. Tomorrow rain is around heavier south compared to north. You may even get a clap of thunder out of the deal, but that is the first day of meteorological spring. Cooler, drier Friday and Saturday. Sunday we moderate back into the mid-50s before more rain next week. More LAX18 news after this.